Seasonic, the heart of your system. What's up everybody, my name's Andy and welcome to Kick Guru. So today we're looking at the Corsair K57 RGB wireless keyboard that has just been released. Now this one is retailing for around the $89.99 mark in the UK and it is specifically designed for the multimedia sort of power user. Jumping straight into it, Let's have a quick look at the aesthetics of this keyboard. So we're gonna be looking at the material it's made out of and some of the other bits. So straight away, the first thing you will notice is the plastic design. Now this is, the well, the main body here is a sleek textured plastic. So it's not sort of a smooth plastic. It's got a nice little sort of finish to it, which is great because it's not a fingerprint magnet, which I, I really do like, I really do. So it's a solid black design. When the RGB is off, it's, it's really, really sleek. The one thing that is a fingerprint magnet, however, is this top sort of bar at the top where you've got the Corsair logo, you've got the volume controls, um, and some of the other media controls just there. That is actually made out of a gloss finish plastic. So as much as I've tried to uh, keep it clean, it's already got some fingerprints all over it. So, you know, that's, that's gonna be a little bit of a con for some people, but I mean, overall, it actually does give it a very premium look. Like when it's flat against your desk, it it gives it a bit of a, a standout accent there, but it is a dust and fingerprint magnet, so that's something to, to know. Now the keycaps, they are just a matte black plastic, but they're very nice to touch. They are actually molded, so that's quite nice. The key switches are recessed, so as you can see in the close-ups, the RGB lights actually have like a translucent plastic sort of shroud and that makes the RGB stand out a lot more than just when you have the RGB coming through the actual keycaps themselves. So this is a very nice touch. We'll go on to the RGB a little bit more a bit later. On the back edge you've got a couple of little extras that you wouldn't find on a normal keyboard. So you've got an on off switch of course because it's a, it's a wireless keyboard but you also have a port for a USB so this is great it's not just wireless so you can put in the lead there as well but you also have a little hidden USB dongle as well so that's actually going to be for the wireless. So the one thing you'll notice on the back or the sides is there's no USB pass through. So I mean it is expected because this is mainly aimed at being a wireless keyboard so I mean USB pass for, through you know you're gonna expect even more latency or lack of battery life if there was USB pass through there so I think it's a good idea that they've taken that out now it does come with an ergonomic detachable soft rubber palm rest and I love this it's got two massively textured sort of areas here. Um, there's not too in your face. It gives it quite a nice sort of aesthetic itself, um, but it's really easy to use. It just clips in, it can move as well. Uh, and it's overall, it's really nice and it helps your wrists. So I struggle myself with wrists from a, from a previous accident and I find wrist rests really help. So I'm a big fan of them, including this. Overall, it is a very stylish, modern design and it's great because it's not screaming gamer until you turn the RGB on. So if you know, if you're not about the RGB, just turn it off, it's fine, it's fine. Turn it off, looks lovely. It will complement any design, any sort of setup that you've got going. Put the RGB on and then, you know, there you go. You've got a world of craziness just there. So whilst we're talking about the RGB, actually got dynamic perky RGB with Capellix LEDs. Now I hope I'm saying that right, but these are marketed as being brighter and way more energy efficient than standard LEDs. So what they're claiming is that it's up to 60% brighter, 60% more efficient, and even have 35% greater lifespan than traditional LEDs. And 
to be honest, looking at it and using it, they're, they are very nice. <laughs> they are very nice. You've got three brightness settings within these LEDs. Um, well, you've actually got four if you count off as being one. And then you've got sort of, you know, very sort of subtle, medium, and then as bright as it can get, which, you know, is what I do unless I'm using it on wireless, then I turn it down or off. Now there is a dedicated LED button. So that is great. It's just over here and it will turn it off and change the brightness in those four stages. Now there is even multiple key combinations for 10 pre-installed onboard lighting modes, which can be controlled with the function key and the number keys to switch the effects. So you don't even need to install IQ, which is the Corsair software for RGB and for controlling the keyboard. You don't have to actually install that if you didn't want to, because they're pre-installed on the memory of the keyboard. I think this is a nice touch. Very nice touch. So some people don't like installing software. Um, others, you might be using it on a key, uh, a computer that's not yours or you can't download on. So if you really want that RGB, you've got it pre-installed, which is nice. Size and design. Um, it is a full size keyboard. The top of the keyboard sort of tapers in towards the bottom for a more ergonomic angle. And there are two flip out small raised feet underneath as well so you can get even more of that angle there i personally like having it at a bit of an angle rather than it being completely flat to the desk because again the height of my desk here i, I find that my wrist with a wrist wrist rest works better when it's at a slight angle rather than having to sort of type downwards if that makes any sense but the choice is yours now as i mentioned it is a full size keyboard and i really like this because often wireless keyboards are a little bit smaller um, and i find that the keys are, are closer together or they're smaller keys um, and it becomes cramped however not with this one you've got full size keyboard no crampedness there you've got full size number pad everything is on here i really like that now dimension wise it's 48 centimeters in length 16.6 centimeters wide and you've got a height of 3.5 centimeters and it also comes in just under one kilogram 0.95 kilograms so i think that's you know a reasonable weight there keys and sound test so with the keys, I'm just gonna be quiet a second and type a bit. So there you go. Dedicated media controls, very handy on the right hand side just here. You've got six macro keys on the left side, which are just here, and they're changeable and programmable via the IQ software. And you can actually record dedicated macros with the macro record button, which is just up here labeled MR. So you've got a medium size control just here, which I really like. So. Uh, for gaming, this is it makes things easier. For going prone or things like that, I prefer having a slightly larger uh, control key. Sometimes it's just the same size as other keys. So my main keyboard behind me is actually got a small control key, and that's I really don't like that about it. However, this one's got a medium size. It's not a large, but it's a medium one, and that's already a step up. So well done, Corsair from my opinion. So it does have a Windows lock key for gaming, which I really like. You know, for gaming, it's a, it's a must have. If you accidentally hit that Windows key and everything minimizes, it's kind of a pain. So you can do that and you can change that in the IQ software later, which we'll look at. In terms of the keys, they're rubber dome, soft tactile feedback, anti-ghosting with selective eight key rollover plus modifier keys, meaning control, alt and shift, for example. Um, it is quiet in comparison to mechanical keyboards as you heard in the sound test earlier and um, the switch life is 20 million key presses so that is pretty good and again the sound thing it is pretty good being a wireless keyboard you're meant to be you know using this in a multimedia environment i i imagine that's the main sort of aim for this keyboard so making it a bit quieter and not getting the clackety clack of a mechanical keyboard can be a positive to some Personally, I prefer mechanical keyboards to type on, but this one's still nice to type on and it does bring that volume down a little bit. The keys, they are easy to remove, so there is a possibility that you'll be able to replace them or if you lost some, you'll be able to you know, pop them back in. Um, Connection-wise, this is where we've got you know, the interesting market 
idea here behind this keyboard. You've got three options. So with wired, which it comes with a wire, you get a 1.8 millimeter thick tangle free rubber cable. And uh, this is really nice. It's, it's very thick. So, you know, it's, it's a heavy duty cable and it's got the Corsair branded on it. It's very nice touch. You've got a thousand Hertz polling rate between the keyboard and the computer with the cable. Um, and this, this polling rate is adjustable via IQ. So we'll go into that soon. Included on the back edge, as I mentioned earlier, is a wireless USB receiver. Um, and that is gonna be used for the main technology that they're including in the K57 here. So it comes with Slipstream Wireless. Now, Andy, what is Slipstream Wireless? Well, basically it's a hyper fast sub one millisecond wireless latency response. Now I have no way of officially testing this, but in use, in practical use, it's, it's so accurate. Uh, you would think it's wired. Now this does have a 60 foot range. I have tried it in a couple of different rooms. Bear in mind, I live in a very old house. The walls are very thick. Our Wi-Fi here is horrendous. However, on the floor that I'm on through these large walls, uh, I get really good signal so it still it still works they boast 50 percent faster connection speeds than previous wireless keyboards it comes with isf which stands for intelligent frequency shift now this ensures that the wireless signal detects and uses the fastest channel available to stop interference from other signals in the area um, and again our, where where we are there's not overly much interference. So, I mean, I couldn't really test the practicality of this, but it was very, very stable, as I said. So uh, I, I see this as a, as a plus. I would say it feels better than just standard Bluetooth technology. To connect to the USB dongle, it's very easy. Connect the do dongle to your computer's USB port, turn on the keyboard, on the back there with a the switch, the LED indicator turns white when connected. And if you have issues, you can force pair through IQ software. So you can force it to try and receive the keyboard and set it up there. I didn't have that issue. I just plugged it in and it's plug and play, super, super easy. Um, and you can also force pairing as well by holding uh, function and F5 two seconds and that should also do it as well. So you've got, you've got some options there, which I really like. It's not just plug it in and and hope for the best, you've actually got three ways of connecting, which I do like. So Corsair has definitely thought about this one and I like it. I must say, I, I, I like it. You know, I'm not a big fan of wireless keyboards or wireless anything for gaming, but this, I think this is, uh, you know, something good here, guys. So the next one that we have is Bluetooth. So you've got low latency Bluetooth offering as low as 7.5 milliseconds. Bearing in mind, Slipstream is sub one millisecond, but you know, it, it, it's still a good idea and I'll get onto why it's good as well in a second. So connecting Bluetooth requires Bluetooth 4.0 on the device of your choice. You turn the keyboard on um, and hold function plus F6 and the LED light will blink blue for Bluetooth. Um, and it also has two keys. So F7 and F6 toggle between two Bluetooth host devices. And this is where I'm saying I like this. So you can actually have this keyboard connected to three different PCs or devices and you can flip between them, which is brilliant. So, I mean, it's easier to flip between the two Bluetooth devices with just the uh, F6 and the F7. However, if you wanted to, you could have Slipstream connected on one computer, Bluetooth on another, Bluetooth on another, and literally with a touch of a couple of buttons, you're jumping over very, very good idea. Now there is an LED indicator at the top here. So white equals slipstream mode, blue equals Bluetooth one, and then it goes over to Cyan for Bluetooth two. Now again, at first, as soon as I sort of read about this and heard about it and started using it, I thought, this is a gimmick. Like, why is there so much like option here? I, I just thought, just include one, put your slipstream technology in it, if that's what you're pushing, put that in it and away you go, you know, you don't need anything else. However, now I see this is absolutely brilliant because as I mentioned, you can flip between multiple PCs and for someone like myself, that's a multimedia user or a power user, if you will, and I'm a streamer, 
with we, we have four PCs in this room that are generally running at all times, right? And I have a keyboard and mouse for each one of them. This, this is a game changer. I've been able to, to switch between my streaming PC to my gaming PC in a touch of a button. And also if I wanna be using, let's say the laptop, over on TV, if we're watching movies or if we're playing a game again over there and we don't want to use a controller, then this this is really working. I've not had any issues with it at all. So, I, you know, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised and I'm surprised I've not seen this before with this many sort of options. And the fact that they come with the cable to plug it in, I like it. I do really like this keyboard. So battery life wise, this is where things get interesting. With a 2.4 gigahertz slipstream, you've got up to 35 hours with standard lighting. That's all right. 175 hours without backlight. Now that's way better, because I mean, you can sacrifice that RGB for usage, which is great. However, you do only get eight hours of max brightness if you have the RGBs on max. So, you know, that's one thing to consider. With Bluetooth, you get 40 hours with standard lighting and 200 hours with no light. So, you know, Bluetooth is using less power there than the slipstream. However, it's not as secure or fast in response rate. This keyboard is chargeable with the included USB cable, which is great. Uh, and it tells you up on the top there when it's charged and all that good stuff. So you could just buy this keyboard, just purely use it wired. And then if you're gonna be popping over to a LAN party or wherever you're doing, you can pop this in your bag or take it anywhere as well, you know, and use it that way, which is brilliant. Build quality wise, there's a lot of flex on this keyboard. And I mean, it's uh, it's a plastic design. Now this is with or without the raised feet underneath being used. Yeah, so I mean, most plastic keyboards do have quite a bit of flex sort of in the me in the sort of center area there, but there is quite a lot of flex. So you, again, it is to be expected with a plastic design. Um, the keys aren't easy to pop off, but that's a good thing because it means you're not gonna just fling them off, which you know is not something you wanna do. You don't want something with rattly loose keys. These are, are well, stuck in there so that is a uh, i would see this as a positive um overall i think the build quality is typical of corsair and that means it's very good especially for the price point so it's a 90 pound keyboard i mean keyboards go way up to almost 200 pounds these days so for something that's including the latest technology i, I think this is really good and the if my only negative is that there's flex I think they've done well. So, you know, they could have included maybe like a metal sort of framing underneath or an aluminium chassis, but, but to be honest, it would just probably change the weight. And I like it as it is, to be perfectly honest. Software. So, software from Corsair is the IQ utility app. Aesthetically, it's, it's very pleasing, to be honest. It's a very minimalistic design. There's not much clutter at all. Uh, I found it being very straight to the point. I hadn't used IQ much in the past and just using it, it was, it was a breeze. So for someone just coming into the latest version of it, it was very, very easy to use. It installed straight away, pops up straight to the point, and it tells you how your keyboard is connected, which I liked again. It's a very small feature, but it's nice. It says USB, slipstream, Bluetooth, that kind of thing. Uh, so that that's a positive, I'd say. Um, the action tab is a very easy way to assign and record macros. You've got a huge amount of options via the drop down menu tab via the actions tab itself. And there's just so much customization there and it's very, very intuitive to use. So the performance tab is also very useful. And in here, uh, you can change what the Windows lock key does. So you can enable it to just be Windows lock. Uh, you can use it to uh, disable Alt and Tab, Alt F4, Shift and Tab, or again, you can disable the Windows key as well. So I like the fact that you can actually reassign that to preset combos there. That's a, a nice touch as well. So lighting effects tab, the, again, this is so easy to use. There's just a drop down menu and some sliders. Uh, and I just found this such a breeze to use. There's some software that you're kind of hunting around for, even if it just takes a few seconds to find it. This one was very much in your face. You could see it all straight away. Uh, but going back to the RGB lighting effects, there's nine predefined options. So that's uh, 
you know, nice and easy. You can just click on them and away you go. You have five custom options and this is where you can really go in and tailor your experience. If you're one of those people that wants to make it exactly how you want to make it, then this is gonna be for you. You've got lighting link options, which I imagine is what pairs to other Corsair items. Unfortunately, I have no other Corsair RGB items, so I couldn't test this out, but I imagine it works very well. You can also find an instant static RGB lighting option as well at the top of the software where you can just quickly click a color and then bam, the whole thing is that color. However, do remember you've got pre-installed lighting effects on the keyboard itself, so you don't necessarily have to do this. Uh, but setting uh, in the settings tab, it lets you see the battery status, which is really nice. Um, you can enable sleep mode as well. You can enable the battery gauge in the system taskbar, which I really liked. I never even thought of this as a feature, but being a wireless keyboard, I think that's a very nice touch that you can enable or disable that from just a click of a button. You can force the wireless receiver pairing option, as I mentioned before, and you can also change the polling rate from a few different options there too. You can change the brightness, the layout, and you can update the firmware as well for the software and for the hardware. So as always, whenever you're getting a new item, always make sure you download the latest software from the website and also make sure you update to the most current drivers. If you have any issues, then normally it's easier to disable anything else running in the background. If you've got, say, another company's product software running, just, just hit exit, relaunch the software, try and install the new software and it should be all good. In conclusion, as you can probably tell from this whole review, I really, really like the Corsair K57 RGB wireless keyboard, it's brilliant. So pros, it's got excellent usability with multiple devices. This has got to be the hands down the biggest pro. This is again what they're marketing at, is that power user, and I think they've done just that. I, I, very well done. Sleek aesthetic design, as previously mentioned, I'm a big fan of it. Yeah, again, the gloss finish at the top, meh, but everything else about it I do like. The Vivid RGB with a plethora of options is always welcome, and Corsair are always done well with their RGB. IQ software is a pleasure to use. There's not really much to say as a con for this keyboard, but there is a couple of things. So I've noticed because it's a full-size keyboard, it's not the most portable keyboard. However, I don't think they're marketing this as a like an out and about keyboard. I think they're more marketing it at someone in a, a desk environment or you, you know someone with multiple systems or multiple uses for it to keep it in that room but you could take it out and about if you wanted to you know I, i'd say this is more for someone such as myself and i think it does really well for that but you know that could be seen as a negative that is not small enough to be portable it's not mechanical so this is probably going to be the biggest letdown for most of you because i know so many people are a fan of mechanical keyboards i am myself however the pros so much way outweigh the cons that i would use this for what it's designed for, and then just keep my main mechanical, maybe for my main system, and then this for my other ones. If it was a mechanical keyboard, it'd probably be heavier, and it'd probably be more expensive too. Um, so I think for the price point, this does very well. The other disadvantage would be this, as I mentioned, this sort of gloss bar at the top. I mean, there's just looking at it, I can see the dust landing on it. <laughs> so it's one of those things. But overall, very, very good keyboard. I recommend that you guys check this out if you have that use for it. So if you're just looking for a wired keyboard, I'd probably give this one a miss, but it still will work as a wired keyboard. But if you're someone that's going to need multiple you know, uses for a keyboard, definitely check this out. So I really hope you've enjoyed today's review. If you have, hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. You can check out our merchandise down below via Teespring and make sure you check our website daily for tech news. So I've been Andy and this has been Kit Guru and we will see you in the next one. So thank you very much guys and we'll see you later.